everybody welcome back to my channel so just as I promised I am doing like a million different videos for you guys since I've been on vacation and kind of got out of my uh, rotation and schedule so I'm trying to make up for lost time so today is the very first day of March um, hopefully it starts getting warmer I don't know about where you guys live, but we got about a foot of snow um, last Saturday. So, I'm ready for the warmer weather anytime. Um, so, this video is going to be my March debt. So, basically, all of my debt, everything that I owe, going into the month, month of March. So, I like to do this the end of every month just to see how much I have paid off Um from the previous month. So this was my February debt. Um, so while you have all of my debt listed and then my total debt going into the month of February was $48,451.03. And from January to February, I paid off $1,436 in debt. So um, that was really exciting. That was a pretty big number, so I was really happy about that payoff. Um, so hopefully March is somewhat similar. Um, now we'll get started here. So I figured since it's March, it's going to be St. Patrick's Day soon. I wanted to um, make, a, make this a really fun St. Patrick's themed spread here. So, I will get started, um, and I am extremely happy to share that I have paid off one of these. Obviously, it's this one because this was my smallest one um, from last month. So, this one right here has been paid off. Now, I want to do something fun, and I haven't exactly figured it out yet. Um, like, some type of debt tracker or something like that. I don't know if... I want it to be just all in whole, like, okay, this month I paid off $2,000, so, you know, you color something in $2,000 to $2,000. Or if I want to do each one individually, um, I think doing each one individually would be more satisfying for both me and you guys as viewers. Um, but I just haven't figured out exactly what I want to do yet. If you have any ideas, let me know. I kind of thought about, like, taking something like this and then um, maybe marking like different lines of goals or different lines of achievements like $1,000, $2,000. And then every month once I figured out what all I or how much I paid off that month, I would color it up to that amount. Um, so I kind of thought about something like that, but that would obviously be the debt in a whole. And maybe I could do that as well as doing each one individually. Um, so I haven't decided yet, but I think that doing something like that would be really fun and it would just be another added um, kind of inspiration or motivation uh, type thing. So I'll, I'm still thinking on that, but we'll get started here. So like I said, um, I no longer have one main, so this one is going to be zero dollars. So that one is paid off. It's such an exciting feeling to pay off debt, let me tell you. Okay, so the next one is PP card, and now this is my next smallest um, debt. So this is going to be the one that I'm going to work on paying off in the month of March. So all of my debt snowball amounts from each week will go towards this PP card. So. What I owe this month for that one, or what I currently owe for this one, is $501. I could also go back and show you guys what it was. So that one was $535 last month, and it is now $501. Um, the next one is NFM. This one, I currently owe... Oh, and these two are going to get switched around here, but that's okay. Sometimes going from month to month, because I like to order them um, from least amount to greatest amount, but sometimes going month to month, um, depending on how high one's interest is over the other one, 
they might jump around a little bit. So Coles should actually be right here because it's a lesser balance, but that's okay. So NFM um, is $5.89 this month. And I was actually really depressed when I saw this number because it's significantly higher than it was last month. And I wasn't sure why because I haven't purchased anything with that card. Um, and I've been paying my minimum payment every month, so I couldn't figure out why it all of a sudden jumped up. So I kind of looked into it, and I found that it was an interest-free um, credit card until, I think it was like six months, and evidently February was the first month that it started charging interest. So as you can see, last month it was $565.00. Um, and now this month it jumped up to $589, so about $24 more just because of the interest. So that was really depressing. So that would be one advice from you guys or for you guys. If you get a credit card or a loan or something like that, that, um, is interest free for however many months, you obviously want to try to pay it off. Um, in that time frame so that you don't pay any interest. So that's depressing, but hopefully I can work on paying that one off soon and then I can knock out the interest of that one. Um, so Kohl's would be the next one and it's $553. And so after I pay this PP card off, then I will start working on Kohl's. Um, credit one is next with $698. It's always kind of fun when you get under $100 or, you know, of whatever it was. So last month I was obviously over $100 or over $700. So now it's down in the 600 range. So that's always exciting. I can kind of see the bright side in these, even though there's a lot of them. Uh, most of them are smaller quantities or smaller dollar amounts. Um, so it makes it a little easier to tackle them. Lend up would be the next one. And that one is 721. This one doesn't go down very fast because my minimum payment I think is $25. And with interest it takes like, it feels like over half of that. So this one doesn't go down very quickly. Next one would be PPCC which is $759. Okay, so next one is Walmart. Um, and this is another one that does not go down very quickly. And honestly, that's just what you get when you only put minimum payments down on um, debt, is they don't go down very quickly until you start adding extra to that minimum payment every month. But Walmart this month is $1,123. Um, so now we're, this side here are my bigger ones. Um, but thankfully, I only have three that are like over four, that actually this one might be in the 3000s, but I don't have a lot of big debts. Um, most of them are little amounts, so that's nice. Um, they can be tackled a lot easier than these bigger ones. So Merrick this month is $1,283. And then <clears throat> Western Federal, this one is super close to being under 4000 but not quite there yet. Um, it's $4,089. So next month, that one will be under $4,000. It'll be in the 3000s. Um, Capital One is $4,330. And then the last one is the biggest one, which is my car payment which is $32,704. So, there are all of my debts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of them together, and we'll see where we're sitting 
um, from last month and how much I paid off this month so far, or in the month of February. So we'll start with PP card, 501, oops. And then NFM, 589. Kohl's, 553. Credit One, 698. Lend up, 721. PPCC is 759. And we have Walmart is 1,123, Merrick is 1,283, Western Federal is 4,089, Capital One is 4,330, and last but not least is UNI, $32,704. So that brings us to 47350 and I don't know that this is going to show up all this well on the start green sticker. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it right here in these flags. So we have 47,350. So that is what my current debt total is as of today is $47,350. Now when I started tracking this like two months ago, it was over $50,000. So it's really exciting when you kind of break, you know, a big point like that, like $50,000 or $40,000 or something like that. So that's always exciting. All right, so now, last month, if I look back here, last month, my debt was $48,451.03. So we'll take that amount and subtract it from this amount. And that is what I paid off in the month of February for debt. $1,101.03. Um, now, I was hoping that it would be a little higher. Um, there was, I did have to take money from one of my debt snowballs one week that I wasn't able to put towards debt snowball um, as we had a dentist appointment for one of my kids and they had a cavity and I had to take it, out, I used that to pay for that um, rather than taking it out of my emergency fund. So, but you will have that, um, I mean, that's still a number to be proud of, and actually any number uh, is to be proud of when you're putting it towards debt, um, whether it's five extra dollars or a thousand extra dollars. I mean, any number that you can put towards debt every time you get paid is something to be proud of, no matter how small or how big it is. So I'm not discouraged by this, even though it's lower than last month. Last month was $1,400. But, I, I mean, things happen and stuff comes up all the time, um, and that's just the way it is. It's just the fact of life. So, this month I had $1,101.03 that went toward my debt. And the thing to be proud of for me this month is that I was able to pay off one of my debt accounts, um, which is such an exhilarating feeling. So, I now go from having... 12 um, accounts to 11. So I'll get there. I know it. I just have to be patient and work hard and put every penny that I can towards these debts and they will go down. Um, and it's definitely a work in process. So if you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions um, or comments, just let me know down in the comment section below. Um, and if you have not subscribed but you liked what you saw, just push that subscription button um, and 